Let's talk about the convex hull. In geometry, the convex hull of a set of points is the smallest convex set that contains them. You can also define the convex hull as the intersection of all convex sets containing a given subset of a Euclidean space. An equivalent definition is a set of all convex combinations of points in the subset. I like to visualize the convex hull as a shape enclosed by a rubber band stretched around the set. In 1972, Ronald Graham published a delightful paper, An Efficient Algorithm for Determining the Convex Hull of a Finite Planar Set. The paper is just one and a half pages long, but it gives an algorithm with time complexity O of n log n for n points. The first step is to find the point with the lowest y-coordinate. This is the starting point of the convex hull. If more than one point has this y-coordinate, the rightmost one is used. Second, all the remaining points are sorted by polar angle to the starting point. This can be accomplished without trigonometry by using the reciprocal of the slope, so the negative run over the rise, and using negative infinity if the points have the same y-coordinate. Call this list sorted points. The algorithm then considers each sorted point in sequence which can be animated by moving the slider step. We maintain a stack called the convex hull points that is initialized with a starting point and the first sorted point. For every additional point in sorted points, we calculate if connecting to this point from the convex hull points required a left turn or a right turn. If a right turn was required, we pop points off the stack, convex hull points, until connecting to the current point in sorted points requires a left turn. The remove lines from convex hull points are drawn as dashed red lines. We then add this point to convex hull points and repeat until we have stepped through all the points in sorted points. The code is pleasantly simple, and you can see the stack operations for stepping through the sorted points here. We use the function isLeftTurn, which returns a signed area of a triangle defined by the points P, Q, and R. If the area is positive, then going from PQ to QR is a left turn. If the area is negative, it is a right turn. The area computation is the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, and so also requires no trigonometric functions. You can easily rerun this with different values of n and see that algorithm go through. You can also modify the points at any time, and you can see that convex hull stretches out. Enjoy!